Look at the size of this council hall. So this is what they spend our taxes on. Look. Freedom! Is that the princess? Wait, is she leaving? Apparently so. Then who will administer the oath? The maid who empties her chamber pot. No, oh, we're not as important as that. Nanny. Perhaps her stable boy? You thought it would be the princess? Doesn't she lead the council? No. In this chamber, she's just another delegate. Lady Keen, the council's oath keeper, is trusted by all. Lord Caron. Yes, my lady. Are these your new deputies? They are, my lady. My name is Lyra Keen, oath keeper of the council. Pipe down. And I will be administering your vows. Once sworn in, you will carry the authority of the council wherever you go. Your every action will reflect upon the council's reputation. Remember that, always. Now, please, raise your right hands. Do Thanks, you, Titanus. each and all, solemnly swear your lives and allegiance to this council and promise to carry forth our mission to protect our alliance from any who would threaten the common good. I, I, swear. I, swear. I, swear. I swear. Did we just get married? Excellent. Lord Caron will enter your name into the council's register. That pipe down. Thank you for your service. Congratulations, deputies. Wait, that's it? Were you hoping for a kiss from the princess? No, I, I don't know. It just feels a bit anticlimactic. Sorry to disappoint. So, the mission. As I'm sure you know, the council maintains a number of outposts to secure the border between the principality and the marches. One of them is the former imperial fortress, KLM. It's held by some 50 troops under the command of Captain Henrik. He sends us weekly status reports, or rather, he used to. We haven't heard a word from him in three weeks. Leave immediately for KLM and find out if anyone there is still alive. If Captain Henrik or anyone else is still breathing, bring him back. The council wants a first-hand report. What could you tell us about this Captain Henrik? A fine officer more than 15 years in the Principality's army. He inspires trust, loyalty, and courage. Hence the decision to post him there, facing danger. Wait, these marches, they're not in the Badlands, are they? The marches are a no-man's land, between the civilized world and the Badlands. It's outside the chain of mountains that really define the Badlands. We wouldn't send you in there, yet. A whole garrison gone? There are only four of us. Just find out what happened. Run back if you get scared. Got it. Though we were hoping for a first mission with more riches than risk, if you catch my drift. Damn, Barry. You don't get to choose your mission, I'm afraid. So gather what you need and go. Time is of the essence. OK. Right, I guess that's that. It's on to Carolem. Oh, cool. We got some faction. The five council factions have representatives in Care Kiflin. They can sell you equipment, spells, and many other things. The better your relationship with the faction, the more they have to offer and the lower their prices. However, these factions are in competition with each other, which means you can't please them all. Various subquests Man. will give you opportunities to improve your relationship with one faction or another. Keep an eye on the faction section of your journal. Zim36, thank you for the five bomb, dude. I appreciate it. Press the map button to open the location map. When a waypoint has been found, you can use it to fast travel to another place in the location. From now, you can use the fast travel to return to the Gravekeeper's cask. Okay. Oh, the map system. That's right. The game has a great map system. I have to talk to all these people. Unknown party stash. Oh, okay. Unknown drunk. Nice. Let's go. Meow. Hey, unknown drunk. Uh, go get killed in the Badlands. <laughs> Rude. Hello, adventurers. What can I offer you? Your beer tastes bad. Your beer is terrible. 
and that's being polite about it. What? What? I've never had any complaints about the beer before. Maybe your palate is not refined enough. Tell us about your tavern. The inn? Well, it's not that old, but somehow it feels like it's been here forever. Well, you can meet all kinds of people here, that's the good thing. An old scavenger, a diplomat from the council, a knight, a lord, a beggar. We also have rooms to rent by the night. Why the name Gravekeep's Cask? Well, it's very old from Imperial times. Perhaps a historian would know, but I don't. Why does no one have teeth? Oh, they don't believe in it. Uh, goodbye. We should go. I thought we need a room yet. Maybe we do need to get a room. What do we have to do? You have enough experience to level up. To do so, you must take a long rest. Head back to the Gravekeeper's Cast and speak to Carol, the owner. He will tell you how to get a room. Okay, cool. Well, so we do need to get a room. Um... Holy Sage. Hey, Co, it's been an awesome 26 months. The most wholesome community on any platform. Please check out Survive the Fall on Steam. Hoping you would give it a try in the future when it's released. Holy Sage with a $10 tip to the mods. Thank you, buddy. And I will take a look. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Nanny. Uriel with the $50 Hello, tip to the mods. What it's can I dangerous offer? to go alone. Take this. Thank you for your hard work every day. I really appreciate it as a user. Much love and many cookies to all of you. $50 to the mod team. From Uriel OWA. Thank you, dude. Awesome. We'd like to stay for the night. Sure. Just walk up to the suite and settle in. Who keeps saying Nani? Um, oh, it's more like a large bedroom, really. That's but our boy, you know, Kiryu. This is the capital city. Nani. Okay. Level up, Ko. Awesome. When you hit a creature with a melee weapon, you can spend one spell slot to deal 2d8 additional radiant damage. Nice. Nanny. Ariel OWA with a 10 gift bomb as well. Thank you, man. Thank you. Really appreciate that, dude. Thank you. Okay. Man, Ariel going ham today. When you're wielding a melee weapon in one hand and no other weapon, you gain plus two bonus damage. No, we're not doing that. While you're wearing armor, you gain a plus one bonus to AC. Okay. When a creature you can see attacks a target other than you that is within five feet of you, you can use the reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack roll. Um, I think I'm going to go with the tank one. This one seems like it's probably going to be the most effective. Dueling is great. Well, this is our tank character. So, um, yeah, I think, I think, I don't think we're going to use this because, oh, wait, wait, wait. This does work with a shield. When you're wielding a melee weapon in one hand and no other weapons, does a shield count as a weapon? The shield is not a weapon. Okay. So I could totally take dueling and it would work with the with the sword and board. Shield is armor, not weapon. Cool. Okay. Um going with defense. We're on the hardest difficulty, so I I I'm gonna be a little bit careful here. Um that's fine. Level up, Dr. Yiggles. Mm, domain spells are always considered prepared. Great. Okay. I think we're good there. Ariel the Ranger. Archery. Yes, she is going to be our archer. Mm-hmm. Cool. Select new spells or cantrips to learn. Okay, getting her jump could be very useful because then she could jump to higher places and then rain down hell. That seems good. Um. Huh. 
Hunter's Mark could be good, but it's not a bonus. Is it? Oh, it is a bonus action. Okay, so we probably want Hunter's Mark too. Um, maybe Cure Wounds though. Maybe having another heal would be useful. Good berry. Oh, oh provides sustenance for a long rest. That's kind of cool. Good berry actually seems like it could be useful. They're basically like almost void out rations, right? Yeah, yeah. The thing about the thing about um, cure wounds is it's a touch spell, and she's not going to be in touch range a lot of times. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to do that. So I'm kind of torn between jump and good berry. We're going to get hunter's mark for sure. I do like the idea of like never needing to do rations. It's kind of awesome. Then again, I do loot everything, so we'll probably have rations. I'm going to get good berry. Let's do it. Let's do it. Then we can sell the rations, right? Okay. Shock Arcanist. Mm-hmm. Two more class spells. Um, let's do... Let's do... Sleep would be good. Put a number of creatures to sleep for a limited time. Let's get sleep. And maybe... Do, do, do we need to detect magic? What is What does detect magic do in this? Would, would that, like, show invis invisible creatures? No, you need to detect magic in every party. You always need to detect magic. Okay. How about burning hands? Oh, it's a cone. All right, let's do burning hands and detect magic. I think Madrika suggested that. We can work with that. We got hideous laughter for the the. the I'm a little I'm a little bit worried we don't have like an AOE CC spell though. Maybe sleep and detect magic. We already have shield. We already have shield. We we already have identify as well as as a as a ritual, so we don't even need to. Sleep is not that great, but you get AOE stuff later on. Okay, okay. Yeah, we we already have identify chat. Don't worry about that. We have identify. It's thunder wave. Emits a wave of force that causes damage and pushes creatures creatures and objects away. Two D eight too. Puts out fires. Hmm. I don't know if I'd want to put out enemies that are on fire. What does AoE stand for? AOC is area of effect. So a lot of spells are single target where they'll only affect a single thing. But AoE spells affect like uh, just an area instead of a specific target. So any enemies in the area get hit. Yeah. AOC. No, she she's a very loud politician. They're very very different. <laughs> Fog cloud. Um. Uh, no, that's that's a. I think we're gonna go with this for now. We'll go with this for now. Yeah, we'll go with this for now. Give it a try. Yep, that's just fine. Let's do it. Buy some food for the journey. Okay. Does Z do anything? All right, let me let me do something real quick here. I'm going to see if this works. I'm going to switch my highlight stuff. Can I switch my highlight stuff? Let's make it Z. Yeah, it's okay. Ah, see, now I can highlight things and move the camera around. Okay, that's much better. That's much better. Yeah, having that set as alt is probably not the best default button. Okay. I think I want a different button than Z, though, but we'll see. What's control do? Can control do it? No, control's also a delimiter. 
Oh, I just realized Ko is on the hardest difficulty. Rip the run, says the dev. Oh. Good. Okay. You were still filling your diapers when I killed my first ghoul. <laughs> what a jerk. Hello, adventurers. What can I offer you? Goodbye. We should go. That sounded like Ko? Eh, a little bit. I heard your stories. Not impressive. I know everyone in this city. And everyone knows me. Think so? You still here? I'm sure there's some rats to kill in some cave somewhere. Uh, go get killed in the Badlands. Maybe a little bit. I think I'd do a much better job if that was me, though. Yeah. All right, let's go. Nanny. Hey, Scrum F86. Thank you for the 10 gift bomb. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. That voice actor sucks. You know, generally I don't like to talk super neg negatively about voice actors, but I gotta admit that particular one is not very good. I feel like, I feel like they could have cast him better. Uh, where do we buy food? Buy some food for the journey. Um, ah, here we go. We've got Gorum Iron Soot or Hugo Requer. Let's go talk to you. Hey, Joey, bag of donuts. What's up, buddy? Welcome to Gorim's Emporium. Are you Gorim? That's me, the one and only. Okay. So we're going to have to really go through all our stuff here pretty soon. We need food. And look at all this stuff we can buy. Ooh. Yeah, man. Oh, my loot senses are tingling. I like how they all now have like their own pictures and everything. Very nice, very nice, very nice. This has changed a lot since we played. Here we go. We'll buy all those. How much money do we have? 121? Great. Food. There we go. Awesome. Deputies, a word if you please. So famous already. <laughs> I love it. You are in there too. Are you a member of the council? I'm Annie Bagmorda, quartermaster of the Scavengers Guild. We oh, this wasn't in when I played last. We all know exploring the Badlands without us would be a bad idea. That's why you should stop by our headquarters downtown. You'll need our services, I'm sure. Is that compulsory? No, but you'll find our services useful. Everyone does. Did Lord Karen not tell you? No, he pretty much stuck to giving orders. Oh, right. Anyway, we offer plenty of help and advice to beginners like you. We are grown-ups, you know. At least, most of us are. Of Very. course you are. Well, good luck. Cool, okay. At least she's not another lady or something. Inviting beggars to the council. How peculiar. I'd rather visit the temple, honestly. The scavengers. They've seen so much already. The first explorers of the ancient empire. So what do you think? Should we check out their headquarters? It's not far, but... I've had enough talking. Let's go and kill some monsters. If there's business to be done, we can't Damn, afford Yiggs. not to. I like it. Near a merchant, you'll find a quick shopping interaction. This bypasses the discussion and instantly opens the merchant interface. Nice. QOL. I like it. Wait, does this guy have... Uh... Oh, we didn't actually talk to this dude yet. Let's talk to this guy. In Solasta, you can craft various items. To do so, you'll need the proper equipment, ingredient, skill, and time. For magical items, sometimes you need to know a spell. Uh, crafting is performed while traveling, once your party has set up a camp, but is not yet sleeping. Characters can devote some of their free time to working on their current crafting task. These are the tools required for crafting. Potions, herbalism, scroll, scroll kit, poison, poisoner's kit, enchanted weapons and armor, manicalon rosary. Okay. 
Even if you're proficient with a given crafting tool, you'll still need specific skills to make success, uh, successive checks against the recipe's DC. Arcana, medicine or nature. Medicine is enough that Arcana is very useful. Okay. Crafting requires ingredients. They can be found while adventuring and gathering, gathered from flowers, bushes, and rocks, and sometimes from dead creatures. You can also buy them from the shop. Enchanting requires primed items that have been magically prepared for enchanting by Manicolon Master Smiths? Oh. Okay. You need to know which ingredients to combine. These recipes can be learned by reading manuals or taught by masters. The Lost in Factions generally keep copies of the recipes and sell them at good prices to their friends, but they can be found out there in the Badlands as well. Open a character screen and click on the crafting tab. Simply select a recipe. Man, okay. I don't think we got too much into this last time. I don't even know if much of it was in the game yet. Cool. Hello. How may I help you? What do you sell here? Mostly potions for heroic adventurers like oh, you flat. I also have recipes for customers who like to craft their own. And ingredients, too. Even rare flowers from the Badlands. Come back anytime. I'm almost always open. Lightning Ash says, hey, chat, you're looking pretty cute today. Oh, he's he's talking to you, chat. Uh, Okay, let's take a look. Ooh, look at all this stuff. Awesome. Okay. Elt component pouch, spell focus. Component bracers. Okay. I don't really want to sell anything yet. Um, I'm using a javelin? Oh, I think I want the sword. Yeah. I think? Is, um... It dies 2d10. 2d6 plus 3. 2d8 plus 3. Plus five to hit on that one. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Huh. That one's a range. Yeah, let's let's pop in the secondary. Can we we can do this, right? If I put this here, can I copy this to here? If I switch my secondary weapon, will it automatically keep the shield? No, it won't. Is there a way to copy that down? Seek fluid and oh. take. Thanks. Dual wheel javelins, maybe. Okay, you can always just go in here and and drag the shield down. I guess that's fine. Okay. Talk to you. Ah, you came. You did. You piqued our curiosity. So, what exactly do you have to offer? You don't know. What help do you offer? What kind of help do you offer to people like us? Simple. Now, people like you typically carry out missions for the council. In the marches, even in the badlands. Sometimes far away, like Captain Merrin. Who's Captain Merrin? You really must be new. She's one of yours. Senior deputy of the council. Anyway, you trek out to some old ruin in the Badlands, kill a bunch of orcs. This is well, so cool. It's still a bit green. So let's say goblins. Ouch, you're hurting our feelings. Orcs will hurt much more than your feelings, believe me. And stop interrupting, it's rude. So let's say... You find yourself with a whole load of rusty swords, leather armor, shields, too much for you to log back here. Oh, so we're puny as well as green. Stop interrupting! Thanks so much. So instead, you brave heroes just clear the place of monsters and draw us a nice clean map. Then we take our carts and pick up every piece of junk. We bring it back, we sell it, and we split the profits with you. We move the stuff, you go off to kill more bad things. Everybody wins. For a percentage, of course. What? You could never carry it all anyway. Not in your little backpacks. You say that. You sell healing potions? 
Do you sell healing potions? No, we don't. There's a shop for that. Okay. Well, thank you. I guess that's it for us. Fine. Feel free to visit us any time. Or drop into any scavenger camp. Are there others? Anywhere we can settle. By the way, if you find Captain Henrik, tell him we're still interested. In what? In getting our people to KLM. The outpost is perfect for us. Close to the Badlands, with plenty of space for our camp. Right. We'll tell him if we find him. That would be appreciated. The more you do for us, the more we do for you. Oh, so this business relationship can get better. And I hope it will, friend. I guess we'll see you around then. Sure. The Loot Guild! Good luck out there. I love it. And don't forget, in the Badlands, always keep your eyes open. Cool. All right, so over here we have three different chests. Unknown party stash. Unfinished biography and Dragon's Den advertisement. Draft of Biography, Memories of a Shadow Timber Tamer by A. Merton. There are only a handful of brave explorers, the first ever since the fall. Oh, wait, how, before I do this, is that? Oh, it's that, okay. Um, to cross the mountains to the old empire, their names, K. Annie, Betty, Arwen, Swen, Rihanna, and Hector. Together, they were stronger than all the monsters of the Badlands. Long before the Copperhead Road was found, they knew the paths and tunnels from Mazgarth to Manicalon. They brought back an old book with teachings of how to enchant primed weapons and sold it to a dwarf lord of the Gormstatir clan. That was the start of it all. Soon all eyes turned to the Badlands. Their thirst for the forgotten secrets of the old empire was growing. The rest is scribbled. Nice. Dragon's Den advertisement? Come join us the 23rd of May for the grand opening of the Dragon's Den, Galavan's newest tavern, eatery, and bordello. Oh... Need to satisfy a hunger of a different kind. Take a look at what we have to offer upstairs. Fancy a stout dwarf to rub out your tensions. We have a we have three to choose from. Three? Prefer something a little pointier with a slenderer frame? We have you covered with the fairest elven beauties in the land. We even have a halfling if you're into that sort of thing. Wow! <laughs> That's so rude. Uh, in celebration of our grand opening, we will also have a special guest performer from 2112 until closing time. The famous bard Neil Burt will be given a rare solo performance all the way from the Principality. Nice battle chess tournament. Oh my. Battle chess. Oh my lord. They have a poem. I have no idea what this is. Okay. We're going to have to check that out. This chest is yours to use. No one can loot it and you can stash up to 50 items inside. Many adventurers use this scavenger service to store some of their stuff. Okay. Cool. Um, Let's put in our crafting stuff for now what is this yeah, let's put the crafting stuff in the stuff we're not going to use can we like learn this yeah new crafting option blood daffodil and magnesium okay that's consumable keep all this stuff on us for now can i put this somewhere oh i can put it there okay uh, we'll put the commoner's clothing in here. I think we'll keep everything else there. Crafting scroll magic missile. Magnesium angry violet and galavan amaranth. Okay. Spell book. Notebook. Potion of healing. Cool. Great. Uh, I'll put the pearl in here. We'll put the angry violet in here. We'll just store crafting stuff in here for now. This is an item? Properties paper. Okay. Oh, I'll give that to Nuri. 
You don't have any? Oh, there they are. Cool. Great. All right. Looking good. All right, dudes. Oh, it hurts to do this. Um, but... We're going to put this on pause for now. Yep. We're going to put this on pause for now. Um, this has been awesome so far. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. Why am I putting this on pause? Um, because I'm taking a sponsored look at another game for the next little bit. So here's what we're going to do. Um, I have to go today for house stuff around 1, 1231. So we're going to take some time and we're going to check out the Scarlet Nexus demo, which is actually really cool. And I'm looking forward to it. And um, then we are going to, after that, um, maybe come back to Solasta if there's time. I don't know how long the demo is. Uh, and all I need to do is, is, is play through it once, which I'm looking forward to. So, yeah. Um, we may come back to this after the demo and uh, and go from there. So we'll see. We'll see. Also, as a quick note, tomorrow morning at 8 ADMET, we are going to be continuing our Solasta adventure. So if you want to be here for that, well, be here for that. I'll be back in just a few minutes. I'm going to take a quick break, fill up my water, and get all set for this. And we'll be back in a second to keep going. So if you want to stick around for some Scarlet Nexus and probably some more Solasta after that, hope to see you then. If I'm going to see you tonight for Chivalry 2 or tomorrow for more Solasta, I'll see you then as well. Back soon.